North versus South, our mix is match. Kelsey Hammond versus Tracy Bolin. Now, you're sort of fresh, you've been hanging out, you've been waiting, you've been seeing how everybody's doing. Any mental notes, any thoughts? No, this is me. I'm here, I'm gonna bowl my own game. Adjust, make adjustments off of my own game, not off of everybody else's. All right, now on the other side, uh, you've been through a little bit of a mini skirmish down there. My emotions have gone from high to low in the last 30 minutes. Well, well, well like, yay to, oh, I'm tired. I no, like, yay, I just shot 529 in the final four. Yay, we won. Holy okay, shit, we're going to the final two. So what's your thoughts on this match right now? Uh, I'm just going to go out there, make the best shots I can, and leave it out in the lanes. Select the both of you, made the best place and win. Kelsey Hammond right now, representing the usual suspects, your current Northeast Fictions champion, versus Tracy Bolin, representing G-Town heavy hitters. Not G-Town Smackdown, that's their phrase. But if I yell, that I'll probably get a response. Or maybe I won't, I don't think anybody's listening. But that's what it is. So, this is the best of seven. Whoever wins this, wins the North versus South Fictions match. And some monies, because we like monies. Because it's the UBA and we like monies. Tracy is going first. Here's her first shot over on lanes. Oh, it goes down. This match is over on lanes five and six. Sort of looks weird. The numbers on the left hand side, not the right. I was going to say, and maybe I'm just really tired, lanes six and seven. But it's lanes five and six. Kelsey is up right now. Tracy, as she said, she built the 527, but what's more important, you're gonna see G-Town heavy headers in the final, and right now you're gonna see Kelsey with the strike. The usual suspects have shown up in mass, obviously G-Town also here in mass, because they just migrated over from their final four where they were victorious. Winning, do you know if the official score was uh, G-Town versus Exit Wounds? Uh, just a lot to a little. Okay. Meanwhile, we're doing that. We're doing social media. We're doing selfies. This is Battle Saturday night. We are here to have fun. Or at least last as long as I can until my voice runs out. What? 34 to 6? That, I think that's what Outreach won their match also by. I'm sad. I'm sad. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> no. lost one game. Uh, yeah, that, that's sort of what it looked like when I was commentating, yeah. So, because, yeah, they, we, we've got lots of action here. We've got commentary, we've got matches. This sort of is the last setup match for tonight. Tomorrow, obviously, which will be covered by both the UBA and Bowl TV, we have the finals. That will be fun. Kelsey going right now, looking to make the spare she will. Attention UBA bowlers, attention UBA bowlers. So strikes going here. If you are a fan of Carol and Dorian Ballard, come to the desk. We've got two giveaways. If you are a okay. fan Have of Carol and Dorian Ballard, come to the desk. Congratulations again. So that was Ro Renteria. Him and Brian Andes won their North versus South classic tag team. They're going out undefeated together as a team at Battle Bowl. Lots of stories to tell this year. Okay, Craziness, and that's probably not a story that Tracy wants to look at right now at this point. That is a 2 4 a 10 Yuck. Now, even though this is a late match, we actually reserve these matches with oil. So this is a fully oiled set for both here and, of course, on Cap Tag. We'll keep, I'll keep you posted on that while that's going on. And what's not going on is a spare. Tracy with an open, Kelsey taking the quick lead. Uh, we will, I will be going back and forth and having some discussion on that uncap when you have games going on there. Tracy right now, and, and you gotta figure, Tracy's a little bit tired, advantage here is gonna go to Kelsey. And if Kelsey can get some stuff quickly, then hey, that'll be good. Tracy right now looking for a strike here with the 10 pin fall. It's looking. No. 
10 pin is up there. Tracy right now already down. A little, little bit down, not completely down, a little bit down. Tracy here looking to make the spare. That ball, uh-oh, I'm not sure it's gonna make, oh no it did. There's the angle that I do or don't have. I think I may have to move and switch angles here. Also looks like there will be enough space over here because Kelsey's sitting here. Tracy's gonna hang out, looking for a spot. Spot. Gonna hang out right here. Here's Kelsey right now, looking to expand her lead. She does, there's a strike. Kelsey right now up by 12, double makes her up by at least 22 as we go into the fourth frame. Yeah, basically every single match that we have done has had some sort of energy, loudness. Tonight I have no idea what time it is. What time is it right now? I'm trying to, oh, I actually thought it was a lot later than that. It's only 10.54. The night is young. Something like that. But there's more energy here, and as you can tell, we're hearing it. Loud crowd, that looks good to me for a double, and Tempest stays off. Makeable spare for Kelsey. So for anybody tuning in, this is a best of seven matchup. Whoever gets the four wins North versus South Vixen. Meanwhile, Class Axe is blowing up against G-Town. So it's a G-Town double hitter. And, and they're looking for a heavy hitter, double hitter. And, and yeah, I'm, I'm that guy. And Kelsey makes the spare. Kelsey still with the 12, 12 pin lead, at least. Tracy bowling up. Bowling right now again. She's gonna be a little bit more methodical and a little bit slower. Keep in mind, she bowled three games. Didn't bowl great. She bowled good enough, though. And, and again, when you're on an emotional high, it is really, really hard to turn it up. And, and I have been there. It is not easy to do at all. However, that ball looks good. There it goes. Tracy looking to double up. If she does, deficit's two pins. Tracy right now, that ball's looking good, looking for the double there, light mix, gets it. Two pin game, Tracy, I have no idea what that was. What was that? That sort of looked like what Exit Wounds was doing after G-Town got rid of them, ooh. What, what, what is that, Tracy? I don't know what that is. Kelsey right now. Maybe that's an intimidation factor. I don't know. Four pin. Right, right now, G-Town is getting smacked down by Class X in their heavy cap. And uncap. Of course, they're celebrating early. This is only game one, everybody. Do we have enough stamina to get to four? Let alone seven. That ball looks good to make the spare. She's got it. Right now, still two pin game going into the second half of game one. I have a feeling, actually, I'm sorry, one pin game. Everybody that's tuning in now, you've tuned in for a treat. This is going to be a happy, happy, fun time. Meanwhile, that cruiserweight match is still going on. I got to go over there eventually after this game intermission, find out what's going on there. Gonna get some updates. Here's what I do know. I do know Storm was two for two in the contract matches. Let's go! 
Let's go. Come on. Storm is, is two for two in the contract matches. Michael Tang and Carolyn Bo De Dorn Ballard both won. North versus South in the world champion. That was won by Juice, Mr. Williams, with a very convincing victory. World champion uh, wins four zip. Yipes. Congratulations to him, Charles Withers. Tracy Bowen looking right now to get another strike. If she gets it, she takes the lead in the match. She does. Now it's a nine pin lead the other way. Tracy Bowen in control. You know, maybe she didn't bowl that well. Maybe she was saving it for this match. Tracy right now, a little bit of an open. Kelsey took the early lead, front three. Tracy's got the lead back. Apen lead right now, looking to double up. Keep an Apen lead. I shouldn't say double up, looking to quadruple up. On a triple right now, looking for a furlough bagger. Oh, by the way, need I mention the Vixens are good. Ball in here, that ball's gonna snap a little bit. Not too much, out of trouble. Got it, out of trouble. So that string is over. Tracy is now up, assuming she makes a spare, which I'm sure that she probably will. Tracy up by seven. Kelsey, however, on a strike, so seventh frame, she can take the lead right back. Tracy right now looking for the spare. Oh, oh no, she got it. I thought that ball was gonna hook. Right now, oil is plenty there. That ball's not hooking. <laughs> You're okay. Kelsey right now, a strike here, doubles her up, she takes the lead. Kelsey right now, that ball looks so yeah, no. Two pin. Looks like to make the spare, she does. By the way, Kelsey's named Tater Tot. Right now, Tater Tot's looking at a seven-pin deficit, going into the eighth frame. But again, this is the best of seven. This match is gonna last for a while, for a good hot minute, hot couple minutes. That ball's a little bit light. Is she gonna make it? Yes, she is. Thanks for Kelsey putting pressure on Tracy Bowen. Let's go. It's Tracy right now. Looking like, hey, I got a handshake. Got a little tapper. Eighth frame is important to get a strike here. If she gets a strike, then she can guarantee the fact that she can't get caught by Kelsey going into the end. If it is not, it doesn't matter what she does from that point on, Kelsey can go out the door and catch her. So here comes Tracy looking to get the strike here. Oh, not only is that not a strike, four, uh, yeah, four, seven, ten. Yipes. So Kelsey will take the lead back. Looking to get two, she does. Looking here, I don't know, uh-oh. 
We got an uh oh. We've got two G-Town splits, one on the Vixen side, one on the Young Cap side. That, that's giving Class X a clear shot at game one. Meanwhile, Tracy's trying to put up a little bit of pressure here. If she goes out to do it, it's a 212. That ball's got to hurry. It, uh, it does not, 7 pin. I was about to say it does. It don't. 7 pin up there. That shrinks the lead down. So the best that Tracy can do right now is a 202. Which means, for Kelsey to shut Tracy out, Kelsey either has to strike in the ninth or double in the tenth. There's the Bill Kwan sighting. Kelsey looks like she, uh, Tracy, I'm sorry, what looks like to me to make this she does. Big shot here by Kelsey. Coming up, ninth frame. I like to share Be Good Sports with everybody. Ninth frame coming for Kelsey. Big shot here. If she strikes, she takes the lead. Technically, she takes the lead, but if she strikes, she rarely takes the lead. Kelsey can go out the door for a 229. That ball looks good to me. It is. There's the double I was talking about. Kelsey right now a huge favorite to win game one. Again, the best Tracy can do is a 202. Kelsey pretty much needs to keep the ball on the lane and not do anything ghastly. If she does, she'll take game one. First shot here, this is for game one. Got it, buried. Kelsey Hammond will take game one. And if you look, you know, I, I'm not necessarily sure I needed to see the dance that went along with that. You see the moves, Gord? I, I've seen the moves. I, yeah, the next move. Suspects. Suspects. I'm really glad that the garbage is right here because if you keep doing that, I can just go <laughs> right there, right in the garbage. That ball, however, well, that's good enough. Good enough for Kelsey Hammond. Right now, game one on both Uncapped and Vixens will be going to the north. Meanwhile, I'm gonna walk around and see what we also have. I already told you about the World Championship. While well, I keep walking around here, dysfunctional, as I said earlier, uh, will win the cap. Now let's go over to the cruiserweight. And it looks like you won, what is that, seven? Six, six games. Congratulations, sir. Congratulate you right now. Anything you want to say? Oh, no, no. He's too tired to talk. Okay. All right, now you got to follow with me this way, but you come on, we'll do some commentary. Meanwhile, we're going to go back over to game one. Tracy Rowland has said the best that she can do is a 202, and that is not going to beat Kelsey Hammond's 217. $350 for first and second place will be $100. Right now, if you're Tracy, you got to figure out what you're doing. I, again, you got to remember, she is very tired. This is game four for her. Tracy right now looks like she'll make the spare she will. Tracy's jersey says, I'm not yelling. Which is fine, she's not yelling now. She did plenty of yelling earlier. Again, congratulations to G-Town Heavy Hitters getting to the Battle Bowl Finals. Looking here for the fill. 
Tracy Bowen again, part of this now, she's got to figure out and readjust. Keep in mind again, not only did she bowl earlier, she bowled in a different part of the house. So maybe what she's thinking, what was working over there isn't working over here and vice versa. At the end of game one, Kelsey Hammond, 217. Tracy Bowen, 189. Kelsey leads, one zip. And uh, new game. New game. What? All right, I'm, I'm gonna let somebody else do this so I don't accidentally hit end game and, and end series and then I'll have stuff thrown at me. That would be bad. Wouldn't that be bad? If I accidentally hit the end game button, that would be really bad, wouldn't it? Exactly, so I'm gonna let the professionals do it. All right, so Kelsey started game, I'm sorry, Tracy started game one, so Kelsey is starting game two. When Kelsey decides that she wants to start game two. Oh, here we go. Kelsey right now chatting with her usual suspects teammates, which makes sense. Still trying to plan. Kelsey right now, if you're just starting, Kelsey is up one zip. It's best of seven. If you want to know what's going on with Uncat, class acts up one zip. G-Town may be a little bit tired and a little bit emotionally spent, but they're happy campers. They beat Exit Wounds 34 to six early on today to move on to the finals. You know, one of the fun things about this, you sort of see the camaraderie going on with the North people versus G-Town. Sort of fun to see. Tracy right now checking up. Tracy wants Kelsey to bowl for her. I don't think that's legal. <laughs> well, we got a little bit of mini smack talk, but it's all good. It's all fun. So far, Class X right now is buried. Buried in terms of their look. They're locked. Chris Fawcett, happy camper. He's doing a little Chris Fawcett dance. Tracy right now looking to match that strike that looks light, and it is. Two, four, five. Yeah, Tracy not throw with that shot. Let's not do that again, she says. Doing that, oh my goodness. Sloppy miss over class axe, three in a row there. Look at her here on this side. Tracy's looking to make the spare. That ball's got to hold up. Don't cross over. Aye. That didn't hold up. Tracy, once again, an early open puts her in the hole. Tracy right now looking for her first mark of this game. She's got it. Kelsey up. Got a strike. Looking to double. Double will increase her lead. Right now she's up by around 11. It could be a definitive 21. There's a ball that looks good, and it is. Double for Kelsey Hammond. Funniest thing is this about the usual suspects. People seem to forget the usual suspects, traditionally very good in the PA South. You know, they are the, the PA South. Now, I understand they did not have the best playoff run the PA South, but they've got a lot of talented bowlers, and a lot of their bowlers, PA South, by the way, one other Vixen from the PA South, who, who, by the way, is in the Hall of Fame, and she is from, the C from there, from Secret Society, Carla Pereira, also from the PA South. They, they've got some really good Vixen champions. 
Tracy's realizing this right now, and she's got a strike here. She's in danger of being down real big, real early. Strike here at least cuts the damage down a little bit. 21 pins down, even if you're down 21 this early, it's still plenty of time to make a comeback. Well, right now, that ball looks a lot better than how she threw the other one. She gets a max. Good shot by Bolin. Now she keeps it down at 20, at 21. Both Vixens on strikes going to the fourth frame. Meanwhile, signs of life from G-Town. They got three in a row. You know, I, I know that they had the hot shoe contest earlier. I'm wondering if they also needed to make the goofy dance contest. Tracy, right now, that ball looks okay, it is. Three in a row for Tracy, and any concerns that she had, bowling three games earlier, it seems like she's found both spots now. This one could turn into a carry contest. Did I mention that there's energy and that there's noise here during these World Championship Series matches? Just in case they didn't mention it, there's there and four in a row for Kelsey. Point. I, I think the goofy dance says everything at this moment. I, I think I would probably hurt my sciatic nerve if I tried to attempt anything like that. So I will just stay put on the chair. I will not even try to imitate that. Kelsey right now wants to imitate what she did the first four shots and seven pins. Right now, potentially, tie situation coming up. <laughs> Kelsey is going to make this pair. Nice pick up for her. Strike by Tracy, and we've got a tie game. Nine, and actually don't have any tie yet. Kelsey is still up by a little bit. Meanwhile, Tracy is up. Tracy's waiting for her food. Tracy found her food. Tracy can't have the food yet. She's up. Tracy Bowen right now, that ball looks so good. You know, I always get concerned with the ball. That ball looks good, it looks okay, it looks whatever. Uh, you know, the, it looks a little bit funky here, Ola Rahm, in terms of the ball moving, and I'm not really in the best spot. And, and it looks like the balls are hooking viciously at this moment. One more strike here in the sixth frame, and we will be tied, theoretically. Right now, both bowlers go out the door, and based on their looks, it's possible. 279 for each. Tracy Bowen right now, looking for five in a row. There it is. Here we go. Fun, fun time. Kelsey Hammond right now looking to strike. Move that back up here as she does. I can't wait to bow with you tomorrow. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Tough 
think he's very happy with what he's seeing. I, you know, I've always said this. I love, love, love the Vixens matchups. And they're usually more exciting than the guys for this reason. Sure enough, everybody's starting to come over that's still here watching this one. Tracy doubles again. Now we're going to see an ugly dance coming up, and she's not. 3-6-10. Now, Kelsey may or may not have the lead, depending on what Tracy does. This does open the door for Tracy to take the lead. And obviously, if she does that and goes out, and that's that. And right now, looking to make the spare, and that looks good, it is. I am fortunate that I don't get to see the ugly dance, because now explain to me, what the heck is that dance that Rambo was doing behind it? What, that thing? That thing, yeah. Well, I don't care, he is make, he's making it work. He's making it work, though. I don't care. He's making it work. He's making it work. Uh, yeah, okay. No, no, he's making That's the winning dance. We, we have the hot, the hot best dance off right here. That's what we have. And we, oh, okay, out of trouble. Out of trouble, so that ends. That ends that streak, and now, one pin game. Kelsey up by one. Seven pin up on the board. Tracy Bowen looking to make this fair. Sorry? Uh, that's fine, I'll do that. Hold on a second. Uh, I'll ask Rambo to see if he can do it. Rambo! Rambo! Can you go to the front desk and ask for this? You got one, please? Uh, lane six. What do we need? Uh, dead wood clear, lane six. Dead wood? Dead wood. Dead wood. So while we're clearing out the dead wood, we have G-Town Dance, G-Town Dance. G Town looks like that they will. See, best guy sacks news 236. Looks like G Town will tie this up. We'll be at one apiece on the uncap. What's going on over here? I was wondering when I was going to see you. Now, explain to everybody who you are and why you're here. I am Patrick Rogers. From yes, you are. <laughs> and I'm bowling the North Champion. You're not bowling them anymore. How did you do against the North Champion, sir? I won seven games and I won four three. Seven three. Congratulations, sir. Thank that you. was one heck of a matchup. Yes. yes, it was. So uh, explain to me what happened in that seventh game. Well, it looks game. like you found something and he didn't. I, I well, my problem was I I, could, I was scared to move one board. Mm -hmm. Once I moved one board, I just just took it off the sheet. Took it off the sheet. Did a great job. Yes, it did. All right, congratulations. Now you're gonna hang out here, help me uh, do some commentary on this matchup. No, actually, they they break the lead. Okay, then I'll let you go. Congratulations, sir. Great job, great job. And good luck in your Cruiserweight Challenges uh, down there next month. You got it. Good luck. He will be happy. I'm going to take that belt. That's my belt. I don't know where your belt is right now. I don't know where Malachi's belt is right now either. I, I know he currently has it. We'll see whether or not he keeps it. And I'm looking. Yeah, that ball looks good. It is. One pin game as we go into the eighth frame. And I got a ducky here. Hello, ducky. Hello, Gordon. This is my first time actually talking on a microphone since then, Wednesday. Then you know what? I'm going to give you a mic. No, no, no. Let's you do have some it. commentary. You have no, you have it. Okay. Some commentary here. Except let's welcome from the big stuff. Yes. Because right now that's looking very over and this is not. Yes. It's a one pin deficit, guys. Like, it is, it like is. these ladies came out to play at 11 o'clock at night. Yes, they did. <laughs> oh my God! You did you learn from your mama? I don't know. I'm wrong. <laughs> Anywho, that, that makes two people apparently. I, ha I haven't eaten since about 12:30. Yeah, I haven't eaten all weekend. That's me too. I, I had one meal at 7 a.m. That's around it. So, I, I left my John John at the house, so I can't. <laughs> oh. oh. That was in unison. Ooh. Yeah, that is. 
Well, Casey had a Casey had a one pin lead. She no longer has a one pin lead. No, that that one pin deficit just went the opposite direction. On a mark, like Tracy does not look like she's gonna take the gas the foot off the gas pedal at the moment. Um, both of them are throwing like complete darts at the heaven. Well, Tracy was talking about how how uh, cheesed off she was because she shot a 529 down there with cheese town. Whatever she didn't like down there, she's liking over here. Yes. She has done two of those three game warm up to relax exactly. and Usa and to come over here to give us an entertainment show for, <laughs> for the sake of the argument. Based on what I'm seeing on the scores, it looks like these two matches are going to be a lot more high scoring, more exciting than the other four that we've seen. Kelsey. Kelsey goes out the door, it's 236. So there's plenty, plenty of game to go. However, I'm sure she would not mind if Tracy did exactly what Kelsey did last frame. Or at least not for a strike. I, I do believe she's she's throwing the bowling ball I just ordered. Did you? What sort of ball was that? Uh, I think I just well, I just ordered a clone. It's not even like out out yet. Um, but it looks like that's what she's throwing. Oh! <laughs> so, if Tracy strikes, she wins. Yeah. If Tracy does not strike, it depends on what she does. But I'll say this, Tracy, in order to shut Kelsey out, Tracy needs a mark. That first ball is looking pretty good, Ooh. and no. So, if she makes a spare and she throws a strike, she will win by one. A Ooh. spare nine, and Kelsey goes out the door. It's a tie. <laughs> and uh, right now, you're hearing a lot of G-Town because Class X is, is chopping, but not chopping in the correct way. Meanwhile, over on the victim side, oh, 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 oh. Uh, Ducky, when is the door not a door? When it's a wall. When it's a jar. Door is open for Kelsey to walk right on through and steal game two away from Tracy Bowling. However, she's got to get two strikes. First ball must be a strike here. First ball, got to have it. No. And that is it. Tracy Bowen will take game two, and we're tied at one apiece. Unfortunate the bowling ball came out there during uh, Kelsey's mid-approach. That's an accident. Nothing you can do about that. Well, let, let me sit there and chime in on that one. I'm going to chime in on that one because there's only... It's a tag team match. Yes, There's two bowlers yes. on each side. Yes. You only have to technically bowl six frames for the one bowler yes. and four for the other. Or, or eight but, and two, which means you don't need all those bowling balls up there. There's literally 11 bowling balls on that rack. 11 bowling balls and four people. That is impressive. Not to mention the fact <laughs> they've got a ball rack all by themselves on lanes one and two that they can use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Makes you feel any better? She didn't strike on the fill. At the end of game two, Tracy Bowen 225, Kelsey Hammond to 215, 10 pins. Wow, we're tight. One piece. Now, Ducky, you said something about that you're bowling with Kelsey tomorrow. Yes, I'm bowling. I'm bowling with Kelsey and Day Day Green for unholy. Uh, Nine o'clock swap. 9 a.m. Wait, that means we're gonna actually, uh, are you gonna sleep tonight or no? I was hoping, I, I was literally walking out to the door right now before I came over here, and like, this got a little interesting, so I just got into it. 
But um, yeah, I, I was supposed to be home or at the hotel by 11. I'm still here. Like, you can't miss this. Like, to be honest, I missed you on the mic this weekend. However, and a major however, you did a fantastic job this whole weekend. Well, I with appreciate the camera, it. Camera, getting the interviews, getting everything. We could not have done this without you. That's why when you came over, I'm like, you're taking the mic. Big shout out to Dunkey. <laughs> well, well deserved to sit here and do some commentary. Yeah, I, I appreciate it and everything like that. But uh, it's not about me all the time. And I'm starting to realize that. Uh, a lot of people know me as a loud, obnoxious, D-bag, but at the end of the day, like, I, I can humble myself, and when I humble myself, I can do very good things. I, I think you've seen a lot of stuff that you didn't realize what exactly goes into a UBA Battle Bowl event. Oh, listen, I have all the credit. Now she made this battle. I have all the credit for those behind the scenes that do what they do. Um, that camera on top of the the handheld tripod, that thing is heavy. Like yeah. it's it like even this yeah. microphone in my hand, just put it in my pocket yeah. for the couple minutes that I'm walking around, it's heavy. Yeah, like my back is on fire. Like I gotta. There you go, starting game three. For everybody that just joined us, I'm Gordon Pepper along with Quack Quack Quack, Tucky Russell. As we're looking at North versus South Vixens, we're tied one game apiece. Starting in game three, Kelsey, first down, strike. Double heel, give her a quick lead. Meanwhile, on the other side of the equation, also one game apiece, and Class X is uh, running into petrified wood. Class X is chopping wood in the She's back what I'm saying. She's fired up right now. Yeah, yeah. Class class act is chopping wood in in the snowstorm and they forgot their their recharge the batteries for the for the electric yeah, battery, I mean electric saw. With an unplugged chainsaw right now. Yeah, I mean they came in guns blazing in the interview. Mm -hmm. And they sat there and said that they had a redemption to come into this of the simple fact when they were down at Mega Bowl, they lost. Um, they come back up here, we the North, we have the North atmosphere, and they said that the G-Town was not going to sit there and give them any kind of... G-Town is not going to give them any kind of competition up here in the North. Um, a couple of their teammates are going to be here to support them. I still haven't seen no class act besides those two people. Uh, Bill Kwan's here. Bill Kwan and his girlfriend. Okay, I, I don't know who they are. Supporters. And yeah. neither of them are very loud right now. Are they in, like, in the building right now? Uh, well, I know they're in the building. I don't know if they're still here. Uh -oh. I see a lot of Southeast people, including oh, yeah. Chrissy. Because G-Town just got done. Excuse my French. G-Town just got done exiting. No, hold on. Okay. G-Town just got done exiting from the Final Four without any bullets in them. No wounds. No wounds. No wounds. So when they go when they go back home, they go hit every exit sign. That's true. And we're like, hey. I, I, you know what? I, I want to I wanna ask a question because we're yes, chatting sir. about what, this. What, what question this. do you have for me? How many exit signs were you hitting on the way over here? I actually hit no exit signs. Uh -huh. So we, me personally, I like to stay under the radar. Okay. So like every so often there's a bleep, so people don't really know who I am. And so like now, because everybody's gonna know who I am. But I mean, we just take it one match at a time. That's all we did. We didn't, we didn't, you know, everybody's trying to sleep on us, but you know what, we're here, we're going to the final two. We're at the championship. Leave it all out there. Nothing many people expecting you guys to be here. Like you had you had a hard fought time to get here, and then now you're here. You're like, okay, like now. It Within 30 minutes, my emotions run high, low, high, low. Everything I've gone through everything. Get They're going back up now. So. Music right now. So these girls is like striking and dancing for us. Like we're here for it. <laughs> I personally, and I think you're going to agree with me, I like the Vixens matches because they're much more exciting than the heavyweights. And I, and I say this from you, you are former Northeast Heavyweight Champ. Okay, so let me sit there and talk about that, but yeah. first with the Vixens. The yeah. Vixens 
have more drive and energy than us guys. They they put in time, effort. They they're leaving. I don't want to say womanly duties, but they're leaving home that they could be hanging out with their family to be here to put on a show for us. And I appreciate everything that they do. As for us gentlemen on the the heavyweight side, we only want to sit there and bowl certain people. On certain lanes and certain yes, houses. Yes. No pun intended, but that sounds a little dys dysfunctional to me. But um, we have to we have to do better. Like the like the Vixens is only four on, on the heavyweight right now. Currently is only like eight. But we need to build it back up. The South is making us look pitiful by either beating us on the lanes when in North versus South or in or with the belts that they have. These belts are beautiful. The North, we get more participation. We can pour more money back into the the prize funds and or bringing up the bringing up new belts. As for me personally, I am looking forward to the Dansbury versus Sean Hash match in September. That's gonna be fun. I yes, do not know where it is gonna be, but both of them are out of Bristol Pike. Like they both league bowl there, stuff like that. Um, I am currently number one, bowling Brandon by Miko. Um, do not know where and when that's gonna happen, but I hope to beat Brandon. And it will be my honor for the North to take the belt from Dansbury and or Sean Hatch. I prefer Dansbury. I mean, no pun intended for the, 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 the tactics that he, you're laughing because for the tactics that he has done with my um, my little bullhorn, who somebody stole the next match after. Um, so yeah, like it's... I heard about that. Yeah, like it's... I, I heard about the shenanigans of that matchup. Yeah. You can see right now, front four, I'm looking for front five. Kelsey Hammond right now locked in. I can't wait. The bowler heard him. Listen, if she strikes and Day Day strikes and I do not, I will be the fault of not, not winning. But if we all go there and vibe together and, and like, like, we, I mean, like, hypothetically, I need Ducky, the heavyweight champion, to show up and not Donald, like, he showed up on the screen. <laughs> Come on, Donald. <laughs> Kelsey, front five, looking six, that ball looks, oh! <laughs> the late hit, that was the tempo. Oh my god. Well, I mean, I, I, it did get hot over here. It's getting a little hot, six in a row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's getting hot over here. She's not yelling, though. She's not yelling. She's not. She might after this shot, though. That is possible. I hear a little G-Town Smackdown going on here if we get a strike at this moment. Trying to turn the tide. Here's Tracy Bowen. That ball looks good. No, Tempest. You know, we've had a number of chances to see 300s tonight. I know a certain amount and certain people have done that. I did, was not here at, to partake in anything. Um, trying to get my, my my stuff together. Did Ray Smart shoot a 300 in the... Uh, he did not. He shot one earlier, not in the playoffs, though. Okay. I, I remember... He shot one yesterday. Yeah, he shot one yesterday during the rankings, right? I mean, the, uh, uh, the six-man yes, bro. Yeah. yeah, I saw that one. That's that's the one I'm thinking uh, about. Outrage is looking again to do some damage tomorrow, win the Wilder Cup again. Yeah, they, they were there, um, if, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, two two years ago. They won the whole thing. Um, last year, hit a hiccup. Uh, last this year, year. They, got, they got majorly upset in the first round last year. Yes. It was like, oh my God, it's the end of outrage. No. Just. But outrage, there was a lot of new people on the team that I did not see last year in the lineup. Like, they're, they're growing. And it's, and it's as, as a former president, like, I mean, a lot of people should be scared if outrage gets stronger. Like, they get stronger, then it's, I mean, 
mean, it's a rap for that, 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 that you want is that range being stronger. Yeah, like, I mean. Let's say class act all again. Sorry. I said G Town beat class act again. It looks like it. It looks like two to one. G Town. Well, it looks like Tracy's finally eaten for the first time in, in uh, well, now 12 hours. Oh, it looks like Casey Diaz. That looks pretty good. I was gonna say now for Tracy, this one's pretty much over. Yeah. For her, this came out. She's just gotta figure out the area check and running around and stuff like that. They, they, they're seeing different angles I didn't see earlier. Like the, the balls are turning for me. It was turning at my feet. I was either short arming the ball or it was too slow behind the ball. A lot of splits, a lot of corner pins. Seeing that with Tracy in this game right here. In my head, for only thing I would tell myself if I was Tracy is to either like move a smidget up to sit there and give the ball less of an angle to come in. But again, I agree with that. Is she yeah. she just got done bowling. She like as an officer of the UVA, she worked like probably running out of energy. I I don't know running out of energy or running out of carry. I will say this: she's throwing a really nice shot. You know, un unlike the guys, which like to have, like, numbers with circles around them, for the most part, Tracy's only had one open. She's been clean everywhere else. And she's got a game. The only issue is that Kelsey has thrown nothing but strikes first eight frames. I don't, I, I've been waiting for it. She likes you. She don't like me, but she likes you. Listen, I, no, I'm not. That's that's side of it. Kelsey Hammond, front eight, looking for nine. Oh, So much, Chuck. Thank you so much. That was great. See you tomorrow. Let's go. So Kelsey, right now, opens the tenth. However, 266 is more than good enough to win Game Three. Tracy, right now, again looking for an area check.
know, again, this is pretty much a fail. It looks like Tracy may have figured something out at the end of game three, which will be good. I don't think that we're going to be uh, we're going to be uh, ending this anytime soon. I'll just put it that way. This may be going back and forth. Straight up here on the board, Tracy looking to fill it out. Looks like she might despair. Yeah, she will. 215. You know, the funny thing is this 215. 215 is actually looking pretty good if it was at the World Championship Series match for the world side. However, Vixen's match, uh -uh. at the end of game three, Kelsey Hammond 266, Tracy Bell in 215. Kelsey's up two to one. So we're going to game four. I believe Kelsey starts. What? Yeah, um, I don't know how to do it. I'm not going to believe that I know how to do it. Thank you, thank you. We have somebody figure out how to do it. Kelsey over there. And, well, she's not going to duplicate what she did last game because she's already got a uh, gapper. Three, six, seven, ten. So right now, G-Town up two to one on the uncapped tag side. Kelsey up two to one on the Vixen side. Y'all see that ball. Oh, she's got a shot at this one. No. She had a shot at. That was a nice try. Tracy having a shot to take the early lead here in game four. She's down two to one. She'd, obviously, you don't want to be down three to one. You'd rather tie it up. Make it a best of three. See how she's doing that first ball. She's doing pretty good. That looked like a ball change. Ah. Yes. All right, so that was a ball change that she said three frames ago. But it was a ball change. Tracy takes an early lead. Now, if you remember, uh, Kelsey had a 21-pin lead on Tracy in game one, and then she coasted at that point. Let's see if Tracy can do the same thing to Kelsey. Like I said, we got anybody that's too handled. Any too handled in the building. Any too handled. Best of five for 20. No, she will Any not do that. Tempest. Best of five for at least 200. Assuming that she gets a spare. Oh, that looks very familiar. Tracy will make the spare. Tracy will have the lead regardless. Now the question becomes how much of one? Kelsey up. Now I have a feeling though that, that first open, we, she was trying to adjust off the 7-10 that she left last time there in the 10th frame of game three. That's what I think she did, and that's why I think she did that. Let's see if she makes any adjustments over on lane six. Keep in mind 
that she threw nothing but strikes there last game. So there really is no reason to make an adjustment at this point. Here's that first ball. And yeah, there's no reason to make an adjustment at this point. She's got the strike. And we got Rambo with the silly dance. Are you getting a silly dance? No, no silly dance. Just a lot of clapping. Kelsey right now, frame three. She is still trailing. She's down by 11, but she's got a strike. So an oh, balk. We got a balk. Double again. Double gets her right back in. It's a one pin game. Down in front. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. So apparently, no love for the announcer at all at any point. See, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rambo. Okay. I get no love anywhere, anytime, any place. That's fine. My name is Gordon. I'm a scapegoat. That being said, AC, big strike. Still a one pin game as we go into the fourth frame. If you just joined us, we are in game four of the Vixens match. Kelsey Hammond, the Northeast Vixens, leading Tracy Bowen two to one. And class acts on the uncapped tag is in danger of losing, of being down three to one. All games are best of seven. Whoever gets the four games first wins. Tracy double. Wants to keep pace, there it is. Still a one pin game. And Kelsey needs to strike to keep it a one pin game. Oh, she didn't like that shot, she used Steve. That one wheeled out a little bit too far to the right, leaves the double up there. 2 8, very makeable spare. Who are you with, Jack? Who are you with? Are you? Kelsey right now looking to make the spare here to stay within range. Aye. Well, that was a little bit of a what the heck was that. All of a sudden, it went from a one pin game to Tracy having the opportunity to blow this one open. And of course, if Tracy does, we're tied two games apiece. That ball, well, she's a good shot, there's a mix. That is a good shot from Kelsey Hammonds. Good shot from Kelsey, I'm being disrespected by everybody here. I get no love. I get disrespected, no little hat thing, no there. It's okay. Wait for the addition we just got, Gordon. I'm sorry? Wait for the addition we just got. The addition for what team, Mademoiselle? I know, but nobody knows what team it is because we're chatting. We'll yes. see you all in the Elite Eight next year. Oh, you mean? Final two next year, actually. 
So you, you got a nice bowler coming in? Oh, yes. Scratch bowl? Yes. How scratch bowler possibly from a team that pulled it earlier on this evening? Don't worry about that. I'm not worried about it. Inquiry minds want to know, though. Inquiry minds will find out sooner or later. Inquiry minds will find out in a couple of weeks when I see what the uh, new thing looks like, or I can check out the opt-out list. You're damn right. I see. And now, let me ask you this question. Has the opt-out list already been updated with this person that has transferred from one team to another? Not yet. They better do it soon. Opt-out ends in August. Opt-out. It'll right. be released. It won't be an opt-out. Oh. Immediately. Well, well, as always, I wish City Moore the best of luck. Congratulations. You guys had a great year this year. Second team, second year, win the Elite Eight. Not bad. We deserve some respect. Pretty I'll give you some respect. That's my new name. I appreciate you, Gordon. No problem. And, and you know, again, us in City Mark, it's nothing but fun. Absolutely. We always have fun. It's bowling. It's bowling. Usually, that's what it is. That's all it is. Usually. So anyway, going back to Vixens, Tracy had a chance to blow it open. She didn't blow it open, didn't get the spare. She's up by 24 pins. Theoretically, it could be 14. We go into the second half of game four. Again, Kelsey Hammond up two to one. Tracy bowling up, here's a shot. That ball looks good, it looks buried, it is. Tracy looking to tie this one up. You know, I keep thinking, well, I'm going to wait for the tighter. That ball looks good. It is. That was for Kelsey, 14 pin game. And you know, I keep thinking what Ducky's talking about, about the Vixens wanting it more than the guys. If you look at the scores, if either Vixen was bowling together in tag team, they'd be destroying either G-Town or Class Axe at this moment. Welcome to, oh, the pin goes down. Three in a row for Kelsey. Three in a row for Kelsey, and all of a sudden, Tracy's got to keep striking, or she's going to lose that lead. <laughs> He's up three to one on class X. So if you thought it was gonna get loud before, it's gonna get louder now. I don't know how much voice they're gonna have after today. Stacey Villain's not yelling. Stacey Villain's looking for a double, which would be real helpful for her right now. That's not the right, oh, well, one went down, the other one did not. Yeah, both pins wiggling. And right now, four pin game. Kelsey came all the way back from being potentially down 40 to making this a four pin game. That is assuming Tracy makes a spare. If Tracy does not make the spare, Kelsey's got the lead back. That's that ball. That looks like she's got the spare, no problem, and she's got no problem on it. Safe. Eighth frame coming up. Right now, Tracy up by four, going into the eighth frame. Tracy on the roller coaster, talking about bowling good, bowling bad, bowling good. She's bowling good right now. If y'all got tabs open at the bar, if you got tabs open at the bar, we need you to start closing them. Close your tabs at the bar.
Well, that, that's not going to help her cause. 7-10. And that 24-pin lead that she had moments ago has now vanished. And Kelsey Hammond has an opportunity. Please start picking up your money. You got to Right now, Tracy, 155 in the eighth. Best she can do if she goes out the door is 215. Kelsey can go out the door for a 245. Right now, technically down 30, but she hasn't thrown a ball yet. A strike here gives her the lead. Actually, any mark will give her the lead, but a strike will give her a real big one. Big shot over here for Kelsey in the eighth frame, and that ball looks good, and it is. Kelsey up there, ninth frame, looking to cement this one, she's May. Five in a row for Kelsey Hammond. She was down 25 at one point, could have been down a lot more than that. She's rallied, and she's taking the lead over Tracy Bolin. And Tracy goes out the door, she forces Kelsey to mark. Anything less than that, Kelsey will take this game and she'll have a three to one lead. This villain right now, looking to get someone going. That's a four pin. So yeah, th this one's pretty much gonna be over. That one had to be a strike, it is not. The best race you can do right now is 205, which means, which means right now Kelsey does not even need a mark. An eight count in her first ball will be good enough to win. And that is assuming that Tracy makes a strike, the spare here and strikes out the 10th. She won't make the spare. Going to the 10th frame, Tracy Bowen got a 155 in the eighth. And Kelsey got a lot more than that. And Class X is in big trouble. Their margin of error is already zero, AKA El Chipo. And then we got a split open there. Class X, uh, way too much shopping on the X. What's going on? That hurt my feelings. It hurt your feelings? You're sensitive new age guy? Huh? You're a sensitive new age guy? No, but it still hurt my feelings. All right, Tracy, and again, she's got to have a strike here. And well, she got a strike here. Again, at this point, she needs Kelsey to make a major, major error. Good for a shot at it. Checking in from Tracy, she can go out for a 205. 
Well, G Town apparently wants to keep Class X in this, but not for too long. Now she's just gonna finish that with a 204. That being said, Kelsey already has a 185. So eight pins, she wins. Oh, I got another buck going on. Kelsey's staring at her thumb like we got some thumb issues going on here. And now is not a good time to throw a bad shot. Again, she doesn't need a mark, she does need eight. If she doesn't get eight, she'll need a mark. Oh! That went from big four to everything fall down. And with that, Kelsey will win game four. Kelsey Hammond right now, six in a row. Well, she's gonna do that, do that now. She will be yet now, yes. Kelsey right now doesn't make the spare, doesn't need to. At the end of game four, Kelsey Hammond, 231. Tracy Bowen, 204. Kelsey Hammond is up three to one and is one game away from winning Battle Bowl Vixens, North versus South. For Tracy, the margin of error is zero. El Chipo, there's three games left in this match. He's got to win all of them. And Tracy starts game five. Meanwhile, Tracy and Lee having a little discussion. right now starting with a strike. Kelsey right now. Game six for a shot. Ball looks good to me and no, a little bit late. Got a double. Potential, got a, actually no, I'm sorry, I got a two pin. All right, so y'all got open tabs, you need to get them closed. Close your tabs at the bar. Close your tabs. Kelsey will make the spare, she does. Kelsey with the spare, she with the strike. Well, it looks okay, there it is, makes her. Again, just a reminder, Kelsey's up three to one. There's three left, if she wins any of them, she will win Vixens, North versus South.
Gracie, oh, that I was about to say, looking for a double and can and get it. No, she does not. Tempen. Tracy's throwing a very good ball. She's leaving the corners. Kelsey right now has figured everything out. And D-Town right now, a couple of frames away of winning the Uncap North versus South. We'll get to that momentarily. Right now, focusing on Vix and the Tracy looking to make the spare. And that's another thing, again, almost no unforced errors by either woman over here. Both ladies, they can strike, they can spare. And again, grinding situation. That's why I love these matches. And like on cue, another split. Ready to third frame. Both women tied, both have 20. Tracy on a spare, Kelsey on a strike. Strike. Kelsey Hammond right now on a strike of her own. Now again, if you're going Dutch here, it means, means alternating strikes and spares. Any mark here from Kelsey and it will be a tie. As that mark happens to be in the form of a strike, Kelsey will take the lead. Shot from Kelsey Hammond. You know she liked the shot. She put the fist down, waiting to pull that trigger. So right now, Kelsey has the lead. She's up by 10. To maintain that lead, she's got a strike in the fourth. If she doesn't, Tracy can turn around and take the lead right back. Big shot coming up right here, that's good. Kelsey Hammonds. Three in a row. Strike over here. Here we go. Still a 10 pin game. Run to fifth frame. I, I'm not the DJ. I can't help you. Waka, 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 waka on the mic. No, I, I'm not sure that works out too well. That's, oh, that's a three in a row for Tracy. And again, if you look at the women versus the men, women are bowling a heck of a lot better. Right now, Gauntlet back passed over to Kelsey. Both women on three baggers. The only difference is that Tracy's nine spares in the second, Kelsey's nine spares in the first. Kelsey right now looking for four. That looks good. It is buried. Kelsey having four in a row. Again, continuing to keep that going on. As we can see over here, we've got a whole lot of people in the back looking. This is happy fun time. And a 
chop over here means that a mark, a, a strike by G-Town in the 10th frame, first ball, it is over. Kelsey wants to make it over on the victim side. You're doing a good job about doing that. Now Tracy will have to strike to keep this match going. Five in a row for Kelsey. Tracy's got to answer soon. This is for game set and match. Game six, if that's a strike, it is not. A spare will be good enough depending on count. But again, he's got to make this not the easiest spare, 247. Meanwhile, on the women's side, Chase is looking for a strike. for Tracy. This one is going to come down to whoever leaves the first corner pin. And that is all over on the uncapped side. Need a seven. Seven ends the game. Everybody's celebrating right now. This one's not over on G-Town. They still need seven. Keep in mind, they've thrown a six and a five before. You know, everybody's too busy celebrating. This game, or well, they're assuming that they'll do something. Uh, we'll see what happens. Meanwhile, Tracy needs to do something, which is match Kelsey. Tracy's looking for five in a row here. That ball looks good, and it is. Five in a row for Tracy Bowen. Here we go. Back and forth on this one. That strike will end at G-Town, will win. This year right now has been the year for G-Town. They win on the end cap, North versus South. Whether or not they can add one more, we'll find out. Kelsey wants to end this match. And seven pin does not fall. Wow. So Tracy will get the lead back. Let's see what Kelsey does over here. That ball looks good if it hurries. Oh no! About to say that ball looks good. Kelsey went oops. Well now all of a sudden Tracy will take the lead and Kelsey's running out of frame. Eighth frame. Get Kelsey's up three to one, so she can afford to lose a game. She probably doesn't want to lose it this way, but she may. Right now, eighth frame coming up. Kelsey needs to rebound, and she will. This is fine. Looking for Twinkle Toes. I, I'm not going to get involved in that conversation. Talking about all sorts of toes. Tracy right now looking for the strike, does not get it. Now all of a sudden that opens losing, looming a little bit larger because Kel Kelsey would still be up at this point, but she's down by 11 pins. Unless Tracy wants to return the favor. Tracy looking, oh no, she may return the favor, no. Tracy saying it's plastic, I've seen plastic hook here. So right now, a one pin game led by Tracy Bowling going into ninth. Now, strike, this is important. If she strikes, Kelsey cannot lock her out. If it is anything but a strike, Kelsey could go out and it's game, set, match. 
Tracy's not yelling. She's pulling. Looking for a strike here. Oh my goodness. 7 10. And, and Kelsey's open, as much as it was not good, was not fatal. That 7 10 split, however, could be. Here comes Tracy right now, looking to make any sort of mark here. Tracy's got to get at least one. She does. Now, the best that Tracy can do at this point is a 235. Kelsey needs to throw a double somewhere along the line in order to shut Tracy out and win this match. Obviously, people would prefer to do it now. Strike right here, that ball looks good, it is! Now we're going to 10th frame. Up. Now she throws a strike, the game's over. She throws a mark, depending on what she does on count, the game's over. If she opens and Tracy goes out the door, Tracy Bowen wins, we go to a game six. First of all, this is game, set, match, Tempest. Now, a spare and a strike, and Kelsey wins by one. Anything less than that, Tracy has a chance to either tie or win. So, first things first, gotta make this fair. Gotta make that, that looks good, she'll make it. A strike, it is over. Anything less than a strike, and Tracy can go out the door to either tie or win. Let's go. And we got a lot of people here. And more importantly, this shot, shot of the match. This is for a game set match. No, that is a seven pin. Here's what it means. Tracy needs them all. If she gets them all, it is a tie. If she does not get them all, Kelsey wins the match. No pressure. Here we go. First ball again, it's gotta have it. She does not, and it's it. It is game, set, match. Kelsey Hammonds wins. Four, to, four games to one. Valiant effort by Tracy Bowen. Great match, fantastic match. But at the end of game five, Kelsey Hammond, 235, Tracy Bowen, 214. Tracy wins four games to one. I'm sorry, Kelsey wins four games to one. And now we're gonna have a discussion with the champion. Kelsey, let's have a little discussion over here. Uh, first of all, uh, go over and congratulate uh, Tracy and then we'll come back over. And we have a little camaraderie going on. Both fixings, great bowlers. Kelsey, let's let's have a little discussion. I finally found somebody shorter than me that I can interview. Not many people. How, however, Tater Tot just scored a um, bunch of potatoes. Yes, yeah, she did. <laughs> yeah, that was. Woo, I gotta calm down a little bit. Hold on. <laughs> take your time. Take your breath. Yo, know, I had a rough week of bowling. I felt like I couldn't find it. I walked into this match nervous because I felt like I couldn't fucking bowl here. But man, 
I really needed that to make myself feel like I'm worth being here. And you know, I, people all week were saying, oh, she don't deserve that belt. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I freaking do. <laughs> Wait a second, how do you not deserve the belt? You're the champion. Exactly, but people are saying, oh, she don't deserve the belt. You know, you know, Shanice, I have nothing wrong with Shanice. She's a damn good bowler, but, you know, hey, I just struck more. Whew. Ignore the haters, I do. Ignore the haters. So, let, let's have, first of all, congratulations on this. Second of all, Ducky's telling me that you, him, and Day Day are going to be bowling on Holy Lines tomorrow. Yes, we are. We're bowling tomorrow. So, Ducky, a former champion, and you got to think, if a former champion has asked you to bowl, that means something, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You think I should bring Rambo up here? Of course you bring Rambo okay, up here. Okay, bring Rambo up here. My personal hype man. Personal. Everybody needs a personal hype man. All right, personal hype man. Suspect, let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Gordon, we're here, baby. Suspects. We fell short all year. We got one. We got one. It's been a rough year for us, but we got one. Seriously. We got one. I, I got to tell you something. Me and me thought you both fell short. You did something that over 240 teams in the UBA cannot say that they did, which is make the playoffs. So first of all, right. you had a very good year. Thank you. You may not have gotten as far as you would like, but right. that's not a failure. That's a very good year. Absolutely. So that's number one. Number two, Talk to me about Kelsey Hammonds and what you did to help her get to this point and win uh, Battle Bowl North versus South Fixins. Listen, Gordon, honestly, this is all Kelsey. I just wanted to support her. She already had the ability. I just wanted to give her, you know, the umph to get over the hump, and she did it. And she did it. She bowled with confidence, and the rest is history. She's the champion. Suspects. We did it, baby. You did it. Congratulations. Well, well, hype man, anything you want to, before I should speak to Chelsea one more, I, Kelsey one more time, anything you want to say? Gordon, we, <laughs> Gordon, we love It's you. been a long day. Gordon, I know it's been a long day. We love the UBA. UBA all day, baby. Suspects, we in the building. We love you. Kelsey, congratulations, baby. Proud of you. Proud of you. Kelsey, last words. Thank you to my suspects. Thank you to my family. That's not really my family, but my family that drove all the way from Lancaster, Pennsylvania to support me. These this family has been with me the entire damn way. The entire way. I've ever since I started when I was four, all the way up to I'm 26 now, and they're still here for me. Shout out to the suspects. Shout out to Chuck Walls for bringing me into the UVA. And I mean the fans were great. Thank you, Gordon. You're welcome, thank you.